G'day, this is Simon from the Brackets here at South OC Cars and Coffee. Look behind us, another perfect Southern California day. We just cannot beat the weather that we get here. Amazing turnout of all sorts of interesting stuff, including an Icon um, Bronco that we're gonna have a look at in a minute. Amazing thing. And also this beautiful old Citron station wagon as well. Let's uh, swing the camera around and go for a walk and check it out. Starting off with my Camaro, then David's beautiful. Check this out, this beautiful Dino here. Love the color on that thing. Another David's Ferrari there, 599. Jay's 4GT, and then speaking of uh, 4GTs, check this out. We have a plethora, which I don't know whether that's a metric or an imperial measurement, but a plethora of 4GTs, the new model. Look at this, isn't that great? And how great to be able to look across them and then look back at Jay's to see the generational difference between the, the 2019-2020 we've got here and then uh, Jay's 2004, Jay? 2005, thank you, Jay. Jay, standing next to me, one of our photographers here, does a great job. We really appreciate everything you do, mate. Thank you so much. So isn't that great to see so many of these cars that are out here? And then showing Sean's beautiful head there as I walk past. Uh, Porsche, but the, uh, the McLaren, McLaren, the older McLaren, four from Ad Italia, Ferraris galore. We've got uh, Paul's there. We've got a ring in here. Not sure how that, the Camaro got in there, but nice carbon fiber on it. Uh, Lamborghini. In fact, a stack of Lamborghinis through here this morning. Look at them all. And then uh, Audi R8, another McLaren, GT4, another Lambo. Really pretty color on this AMG. Look at that. That blue is lovely. What a great looking color. It looks really nice. I love the fact that the actual Mercedes badge, it, that's the normal color it comes in, but it looks color coded. Red stitching and seat belts on that too, which looks nice. Um, Audi R8, a uh, very, very nicely done Porsche. Um, another Porsche here, got a lot of them through here. This one's really neat, check this out. Very, very nice. Racing seats in it. Ah, yep. That is not a Porsche engine. That is an LS engine, as is the one sitting next to it right here. Really interesting, isn't it? Guys that are now transplanting LS motors into them. Um, there's a lot of purists obviously wouldn't like that. And a lot of people would actually think the LS is a heavier engine than the Porsche, but it's actually not. It doesn't really affect the, the um, weight. Mercedes, I don't know if I do it or not. Nice uh, turbo. Turbo S, the guys from uh, Rivero here, um, from uh, Karma Motor Company with their uh, Riveros, which of course was the continuation of the Fisker. Very nice, there's a new one there. It's a beautiful looking car. And as we roll around, called Hot Rod Beetle. A couple of uh, Volkswagen buses there. And then uh, really nice looking uh, Woody there. Mercury. Ooh, Volkswagen, excuse me. Another one. Look at the uh, Ford F100 tray top. That's interesting. 55, I think. 53, actually, it says. And then uh, Cobra replica. And look who we have here. Bo and Luke Duke. Check that out. <laughs> Very cool to see. Very cool to see. And then rolling along. Oh, a couple of C7s beautiful looking uh, Chevy truck being one of our car of the week. Good morning. Good morning Simon. Corvette. This uh, great looking old Chevy when it came in. I think it's got either a bent axle or something wrong with the diff because only turns is click click click. Oh, that's uh, awesome. so, that's awesome. And uh, Dr. Joe's car E-Type Jag. And then a row of more Corvettes through here. C6 and C7s. Or C6 CR1 there. And then uh, very cool looking 32 running a small block Chev. Uh, Edelbrock carburetor on that, very nice. Uh, Mustang 22.9 litre Whipple supercharger, it's a small pulley on that, it's about a two and a quarter pulley. Uh, one of the new Supras is here, look at that. And then uh, our regulars, guys with all the Mustangs through here. Always, uh, always cool to see. Roberts, um, Mustang with his uh, Whipple supercharger, that's the newer generation of Whipple making big power. And then uh, GT500. And then uh, Simon Trump is driving the Strut Elephant Corporation um, uh, Range Rover here. Simon, just if, he's, he's running away from here. I wanted to explain the Elephant Corporation. Just 
Google it. Really worthwhile cause. The company I work for actually, the founders set it up. It's to ensure the longevity of the African elephant so it doesn't become extinct. But uh, look it up, Elephant Corporation, very cool. Our speaking of cool, this is a contender for car of the week. This, from the outside, may look like a regular Ford Bronco. It's anything but. This is from a company called Icon. And uh, if you've got a large pocketbook and you want the ultimate in classic uh, classic pickups and trucks, they do, for example, they've done this, they do FJ40 Land Cruisers, which I'm a big, big fan of. Um, really, really special. For example, you look at this, obviously different bumper bar, but look at this billet grill. That's, there's nothing original. The, all the billet that's around the side here, these wheels are actually machined steel. The, look, the suspension uh, and the, uh, and all of the, uh, the frame underneath, the chassis, all new. The badging, even that, new. All of the door handles, the mirrors, everything is different. As you come into the inside, you know, things like the glove compartment and that uh, beautiful looking matting, which is actually held in magnetically. Um, really beautiful looking car. It's actually for sale. Give you an idea of um, of what this thing is worth, $235,000. But if you look at that lineup of stuff that's on there, it's got a Coyote 5 liter uh, injected V8, so the same as the current Mustangs. But um, you can't look at this as a regular, um, call it resto mod. This thing is like ground up build that like any of those really high-end custom one-off vehicles, whether it's something by Foos, whether it's something by Kindigit Design, whether it's something by uh, Speedcore or Ring Brothers, it's in that kind of league. So it may seem, expen seem expensive, but there's enough bits and pieces in this thing that make it stand out as something really, really special. It will drive like a brand new vehicle. All right, let's jump around the other side. Beautiful little Alfa Romeo that's for sale there. Next to it, a really nice and cutlass. Love that green color. Look how clean that engine bay is. Spectacular. Riviera, look at the way the headlights tip back. Really cool. Uh, next to it over here, lovely little MG uh, SRT4, Focus ST, GT350 Mustang. Um, another Mustang here, C7 Corvette. A um, little Morgan, pretty car. 65 Riv, really like that. One of the cleanest Pontiac uh, GTOs you're ever gonna see. Isn't it lovely? Just the engine bay, everything on this is just so, so classic. Love it. Previous car of the week winner, this really nice looking uh, Pontiac. Um, there's a couple of really interesting things I didn't point out when I made it car of the week, we found out about. The owner was telling me this morning, I made mention in my video about that light under the hood. Well, he unclipped that cover and there's about 20 feet of wire wound up under that cover so that if you need to work on this car at night, you simply unwind the wire so you can walk around the car and you've got light at night. The other thing I didn't mention, which is super cool, is this little prism that's up on the dash. Because this has the visor that sits up over the windshield, if you're sitting at traffic lights, you can't always see them. So that little prism up on the dash is designed to reflect the traffic lights at eye level so that they're not blocked out by that visor on the top. So super cool car. Another one next to it, this beautiful looking Packard. Check that out, that flat eight in that thing. Really nice looking car, love this thing. Got a uh, Supra just leaving us there. A uh, Ford Custom here. Rolling along, I better speed it up a bit. I'm mean, taking too much time on all these today. Too many good things. Really nice looking Chevelle there, running a newer LT1. Another nice Bronco, couple of uh, C7s. This one's had uh, scissor doors put onto it. And then uh, back up here, there's that uh, the front end of the uh, General Lee. I want to see it jump. Not at Cars and Coffee, obviously, but good morning. Hey, Simon. Uh, great looking Ford truck, one of the regulars. Beautiful little P1800 uh, Volvo, uh, BMW. Nice Porsche, Volkswagen. Good morning. Both of them, same. 235i BMW, really nice old Mercedes. Isn't that beautiful? What a great color, especially with that trim combo, convertible. Ah, oh, one of the original Woodies, check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like a Model T, 29. Isn't that great? And that old engine in there, it, look at that. It's actually, no, more. no it's an Oldsmobile. It's actually an Oldsmobile. Wow, isn't that wonderful? So nice, all that work done on it. Uh, Volkswagen uh, buses here, another Volkswagen, another one there. 
really nice little Porsche 1600 and then a Mercedes at the end. Charger Hellcat, GT500, Acura, Z28, Montclair, what a classic car. Little Mercury there. Uh, really nice BMW station wagon running that. So great V8. A, an X5. Very neat and clean. BMW. Another BMW. <coughs> really interesting wheels on this, aren't they? Huh. Very cool. Uh, 55 Chevy. Big thank you, of course, to Rockwell's bring out this food truck every week. Um, makes it easy for people to grab coffee and donuts in the middle of the uh, and pastries in the middle of the show, which is awesome. A really nice little C7 ZR1 running that uh, LS9 engine. I think probably one of the best motors that Chevy's ever built. Big Ram, very cool. Jeep, serious suspension on that guy. A couple of, uh, there's a Baja bug and another uh, sand roll or sand buggy there. El Camino in uh, Hugger Orange Wrangler Cadillac. Uh, C6. Beautiful looking Corvette there. I'm guessing it's about a 64, could be wrong. Uh, another one here, really nice. Mustang, Kettle 32, and then uh, Falcon, Mustang, Corvette, all of our regulars through here. Really love their support. C7, good morning, gentlemen. Good to see you. Chevelle, Mini, the way the front end comes up. Look at the arrow on the front of this thing, really interesting. Uh, next to a new uh, C7Z06. Somebody's done a lot of work on the hood of that thing. Ford Deluxe. Classic old Willys Jeep. And then a really nice looking uh, Volkswagen Beetle for sale. 61 ragtop. Very neat and clean. Love this. 62 Falcon U, as I would say, or you would say, a Ranchero. I mentioned it before. The whole concept of we call utilities or utes in Australia, Rancheros or El Caminos, was actually invented in Australia. A uh, lady said to a Ford executive that they wanted a car that they could go to church on Sunday and take pics of the market on Tuesday. So, interesting. Um, next to it, a El Camino and a Mustang and a, a Jeep. Another uh, El Camino here, Mini. And really nice looking Trans Am there. Nice uh, colour combo. E-Type Jag, the car that uh, Enzo Ferrari said was the most beautiful car in the world. Another Jaguar there. Cadillac, Mustang. 56 Chevy. My daughter would love this. That's her favourite car. Actually, she'd love both of these. That as well. That looks like about a 56 Chevy there as well. Uh, tough Falcon. Heard that thing come in. Corvette. Interesting roof. I don't know if this is factory or not. Obviously, it's a, a convertible, but they've got a hard top for it. But notice the vent on the back. I noticed that when it came in. Not sure if that's a factory thing to stop moisture build up underneath, but interesting. Uh, Gen 6 Camaro. A uh, nice little Chevy there, a couple of C7s, that one, the Z06 running that LT4 supercharged engine. Really nice looking uh, Mustang there, Shelby. Great looking Plymouth. Look at the way that intake manifold's done with these chill carbs. That's super cool. That's a really nice looking car. Pontiac Safari, nice next to a uh, Falcon station wagon there. So many people this morning. 68 uh, Camaro, 69, love that car. RSSS, and then a uh, Nova up here. Gen 5 Camaro, another beautiful uh, 69, this time a Z28, running that 302 cubic inch Chevy small block. Mustang 442. Uh, not sure what that is, a little Honda Fit, I think. Um, BMW M3, love that era of M3, nice looking wheels as well. And then we have a Porsche, and then um, a uh, Skyline, which is nice. A couple of them actually side by side. This one's super tough. That's a bulletproof RB26, which is killer. And that uh, Roadrunner here, and then a uh, Volkswagen bus. That thing with those extra windows would be worth some money. That's cool. Very cool. And then a previous car of the week winner, this spectacular Roadrunner Superbird. What a great, great looking car. Another car of the week uh, winner over here. This guy is so subtle with this thing. This is a classic old Ferrari. Beautiful, beautiful car. He just parks it over the back, doesn't want all the attention to park up the front. Really, really like that. Beautiful car. Make sure you go back and look at that video. Corvette, a little MG GT. Don't see many of those around. Really, uh, really nicely done. Love the carburetors on these, those SUs. Love working on them. They're uh, like tuning a, a musical instrument. Porsche, uh, Subaru, El Camino. Really nice looking Ford Woody there, Ford Deluxe. Um, Jawa Jupiter that we've shown before. It's been a car of the week winner as well. Really interesting car. Mustang, so another, another Mustang there. 
and uh, little Lotus and then a Gen 5 ZL1 Camaro. Of course, running that LSA engine, also used in the Cadillac CTSV supercharged with an Eaton 1.9 litre. Um, really nice little Porsche, Corvette, Studebaker, really nice. A Willys running a small block shed by the look of it. I could be wrong, but I think, you know, I'm just surprised. It's hard for me to tell, to be honest, without getting in and looking at the water pump. No, small block shed. Um, a Hellcat. Ch uh, Charger next to a Hellcat Challenger, Corvette, really nice looking uh, Chevy there, really cool. Rambler, four door, very neat and clean, that, running a 440 it says on that. Uh, 370Z, a uh, GT350, beautiful Citroen. We've made this a car of the week winner as well. Barn find, um, owner knows all the history, so go back and check out that. But this here is certainly a contender for car of the week. Have a look at the condition of this thing. It is just magnificent. Really, really good. Are you the owner of this car? You're not leaving for a while? Excellent. So, uh, please don't, because I think you may be our car of the week winner. Chevy C10, Ford uh, F250, Mercedes. Uh, Plymouth, you don't see a lot of those around. 37 Ford Woody, Mustang. Nice color on that. Old Falcon there, Porsche, Firebird. Ah, oh, now this is kind of special. Um, this is this and this is an a uh, an Alpine. Now um, Alpine are now part of Renault again. So if I was in Europe a few months ago, and there were actually Alpine dealerships. They were a, I believe, and uh, Tom Shaughnessy is watching this video. I'm sure he can correct me. But they were a separate company, almost like a tuning and building company, who would start with Renaults and turn them into these high-performance rally cars. Um, you can see on there, Alpine and Renault. They may may have been part of the factory originally. I'm, I don't know the answer to that or not. But very, very special car. They brought them back. I don't believe they've got the same pedigree that these were really special cars. I don't believe that the new ones are have the same DNA. I think they're trying to just recapture the the look of the thing as opposed to the performance. Volkswagen, Corvette, beautiful little Triumph, little TR6 I think that is. A, uh, interesting, just looks like a, your regular people move it, but it's actually an AMG with a 6.3 in it, very cool. A Subaru. Really nice looking Porsche, love that yellow. And then a BMW down here. 52 or 53 Chevy truck, can't re uh, recall what that is. Uh, F-150 custom, nice color, another Bronco. Really nice. Carrera, beautiful Mercedes convertible. Look at the dash and the instrumentation. Love how that used to be color coded. Really nice, same with the, the hubcaps on these things. Just a classic era of motoring. Carrera 4, another Porsche there, a couple of classics. Another Porsche here, Mustang, and then uh, a uh, WRX, really nice wheels on that. Really nice looking Chevy Blazer and Hugger Orange, big fan of that. Uh, disappointed, Ford's bringing back a proper Bronco. Chevy's idea of bringing back a Blazer was basically taking a small SUV and front, putting a front end on it, looks like it's off a Camaro. Good morning. Audi, lovely looking Morgan there, the color really suits that. This is kind of interesting, isn't it? Somebody's cut down this Chevy. Um, this is probably started its life as a blazer, I'm guessing, but um, great, great custom. Look at it. Running air ride on the thing. Really interesting. Big wheels on it. This is the sort of stuff, Siemens coming up in a couple of weeks, and this is the sort of th thing that you see a lot of out there. Really, really high end custom work. Gathering, guessing that's probably about, I don't know seven or eight years old given the trim finish on it maybe newer but nicely done uh volkswagen golf type r c7 two of them side by side bmw running an ls transplant check that out so chevy in that 240z boxster s next to another boxer a couple of them there little uh cobra replica horse mustang and then a uh, corvette up here if there was a prize for the best smelling car at Cars and Coffee, this would be the winner. I, I wish I had a, 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 a smell -a phone instead of a microphone on this thing. Running uh, pure race fuel or, or a, it actually smells like model aeroplanes. Great. Uh, next to it, I think that's a Genesis Tacoma. Great car, that RX-7. A uh, little Lotus next to a uh, really beautiful little Alfa Romeo 4C next to an Alfa Romeo Giulia. And then a uh, 
BMW 928S Porsche, a Carrera, a Golf Type R, C7 Corvette, WRX, and then a um, beautiful McLaren. So this is something we just can't let happen. We've had uh, police come in before and issue tickets, and I'm all for that if it means we're not gonna get shut down. There's plenty of parks, and yet somebody thinks they're okay to come over here and park in this red zone, where it clearly says, uh, fire lane, no parking. Um, if we catch you in this area, and you know about that, we are going to ban you from the event. We cannot afford to have people selfishly parking in the red zone, which can put our show at risk. So if you own this Camaro, or if you know who does own this particular Camaro, um, please let them know that this is absolutely not tolerated. We've, I've just put a sign on it, but somebody needs to speak to this person so they understand the severity of the situation. Corvette, next to a uh, couple of Maseratis, we've got a coupe and a convertible. AMG, I guess that's a flat black wrapper, it's quite good. A couple of nice little items, I love the wheels on this one. Such a great little track car, those things. And uh, really classic old Jeep. Really interesting looking uh, 67 Camaro. Running a small block, and then uh, Audi TT, AMG, uh, another Audi, such a crowd here, sorry, um, Scion, FRS, a uh, Challenger, a couple of side by side, and then a, a Hellcat version here, supercharged engine. Subaru as the X, not a very common car. The Arta, next to one of the uh, original uh, RX7s. Toyota, nice little 280Z Nissan. That noise you can hear, by the way, is that beautiful little RX7. Uh, Supra, Subaru, BMW, uh, Gen 6 Camaro, really nice for BMW. Love the color on that thing, it just suits it really well. A, uh, what do we got here? Big Pontiac, really nice. Lovely looking Apache. This would have been a car of the week contender as well, maybe next week. Wow, this is lovely. Really nice. Love the white wall tires and those matching wheels. Beautiful because car. I tried the a Mopar muscle there next to a Mustang. Next to next to something you'd think was uh, straight out of a Sylvester Stallone movie. You've done it. The old Chevy. Early 50s. Uh, GTS, Corvette. BMW. GT350. A uh, little uh, chop top rock there, 1929 Ford, a Prelude, and then a BMW here. Ferrari, next to an Infiniti with a painted out badge. BMW, another BMW here. Then we have a uh, Lexus. There are different, a couple of different engine versions of those with a really great V8. Beautiful Bronco again, really neat and clean, love the colour. Land Cruiser FJ40, great. Jeep. Two of them side by side there. Cobra, really nice looking uh, yellow 69 Camaro. Another Jeep there. Um, Ford Taurus. And then a uh, Focus ST next to a uh, uh, Mitsubishi. A couple of them side by side. Infinity Lexus. Uh, Subaru BRZ. Or Toyota there. And another one there. Mustang. GT 350 in that slate colour, very nice. Mustang there again. Challenger just leaving us there. Another Mustang. A uh, Charger. Camaro. Gen 2. Subaru BRZ again. M3. Mercedes. Little Audi, cute little car. Next to a uh, BMW. And then Royal BMWs through here if you check them out. Look at these little, little uh, 2 Series M2s and uh, little M3 there, which is nice. And C7 Corvette next to a C6. Tesla. Challenger. Beautiful Corvette. Love this car. Serious rubber on the back. Injected. Polaris. That'd be a whole lot of fun for a day like today. Very nice, original looking uh, Porsche there. Interesting colour too. Another Porsche there. Morning. M2. BMW, that's that new style grill. Not sure if I like it or not. Another BMW, M2. I'm sure it'll grow on me. It's just a big change. Another little beautiful M3 there. I love that colour. Porsche. Uh, looks like it's a wrapped uh, Gen 6 Camaro next to a Gen 5. Also wrapped in that bright blue. Cool looking uh, GMC truck there with those front uh, flared fenders. WRX. 
next to a uh, Nissan and another WRX there. Big Ram, got a lot of the Ram followers here, which is good to see. M3, that, their uh, new truck looks really good. Some good features on it. M2, Audi, and then a uh, nice looking Z01 Gen 6 Camaro. Nice wheels on that, they look good. Uh, next to a beautiful looking, I think it's a Challenge, no, it's a Cuda. Yeah, very nice. Uh, coming through here, a Porsche, and then a little BMW, and then Jeep, serious wheels on that thing, man. GMC pickup, long bed, looking good. Good color, love those steel wheels on it. BMW, original looking Mustang, another C7 Corvette, and uh, finally, finish up with this uh, Gen 5 Camaro. Got some cool hot rods leaving us here. 32. Ford pickup. And then, uh, another Ford there. Interesting, really dark grape color. I want to thank the local uh, Corvette Club for coming along. Check it out. All of these uh, Corvettes showed up. It's so great to see, mainly C6s and C7s. Always good to have groups like this along and um, gives them a good place to come. We like to know about it in advance. These guys reached out to me and this allowed us to stage them all together, which is kind of cool for the spectators, but it's also good for the club because they can get to hang out, socialize together, which is kind of cool. And uh, final one here is red. Um, other cars before we do motorcycles, got a Porsche there over this side, this BMW and a, and a McLaren 720S and then a, of course like a camper up at the end there. Let's do some motorcycles now. Yamaha, then a Harley, another Harley here. Lots of Harleys this morning, look at them all. Another one here. And uh, another one through here and through, look at them all. That was a, uh, it was a Yamaha there. What have we got, another Harley here, chopper there. Um, see what that is. Try it. Yes, I can. Another Harley there. BMW. Uh, not sure. Oh, try it. Beautiful Honda. Same with that one. Not 100% not sure what it is. Honda uh, there. Harley there. Harley there. Oh, look at this. Honda monkey, which is cute. Ducati. And then, uh, BMW. Oh, classic little... Um, this is not old, look at this, this is new, this is like a scooter. Aprilla, very nice Suzuki, um, Yamaha, and then a really classic looking uh, GPZ 550 here. So that is it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. What a terrific turnout, some really interesting stuff. That Icon uh, Bronco, which is special, that little uh, Alpina, I think I called it an Alpine, I was wrong, I think it's an Alpina, uh, but a little Renault. And uh, also we're gonna go back and give Car of the Week to that beautiful little um, uh, Citron, amazing. Big thank you, of course, the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. Please go in and support all the stores in there. They do such a great job of allowing us to be here, so they, they deserve the return business. Of course, a big, big, big thank you to Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and the donuts, also to Rockwell's for their food truck. Um, lots of great stuff leading up towards the end of the year, including that Toys for Marines on December the 7th. Please don't forget that. Please bring a toy to the value of $15 unwrapped. That's going to go to uh, people who are deployed, their kids, or people who are in the uh, Marines and struggling a little bit. So very, very worthwhile call. Um, I'm going to go around and do shoot that uh, Car of the Week video. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.